So let's continue implementing the state management for the login page of our Rio app. We already implemented the forgot email password functionality. Now let's work on the login itself. The login state is already defined with everything we need for it, which are the error, the is logged in, and the is logging in properties. Let's then create the actions of our login. I'll export a constant called login that will receive the create action from ngrx and will be identified with the string login. I also need an action for the success case, which will be called when the login service returns a successful login. So I'll export a constant called login success that will receive the create action from ngrx and will be identified with the string login success. As we are actually interested in the response of the service, this action will receive as parameter the user of the type user. This type doesn't exist yet, so let's create a new folder called model. Inside of this folder, I will create a new folder called user. And inside of the user folder, I will create a new file called user.ts. Now I will export a class called user. For now, I will put as properties of that class the email as a string and the id as a string. And now let's import this class on the action file. Alright, I also need an action for the error case, which will be called when the login service returns some error response. So I will export a constant called login fail that will receive the create action from ngrx. This action will be identified by the string login fail and will receive as parameter the error of the type any. Okay, our actions are created. Let's now create the reducers for it. Let's start with the tests. I'll first tell npm to run my tests. All right, everything is passing. So let's go to the login.store.spec.ts file and create a new test for the login action. I'll create a constant called initial state of the type login state that will receive the app initial state for the login. Now I'll create a constant called new state that will receive the login reducer with the initial state and the login action. Then I will expect that the new state is equal to the initial state plus the error equal to null plus the is logged in equal to false plus the is logging in equal to true. After I save this, our test will fail. It fails because I'm not doing anything in the login reducer for this action. So on the login action, I will execute a function that will receive as parameter the current state and will return an object based on the current state plus the error equal to null, plus the is logged in equal to false, plus the is logging in property as true. After I save this, our test will pass. Now let's create a new test for the login success action. I'll just copy and paste the previous test, change its name to login success. Now the initial state will be based on the app initial state for the login plus the is logging in as true. The action to be called is the login success. It receives a user as parameter, so let's create a constant called user, instantiate a new user and give it an ID. Now let's just send the user as parameter to the action. Finally, I will expect that the new state is equal to the initial state plus the is logged in as true and plus the is logging in as false. After I save this, our test will fail. It fails because you're not doing anything on the reducer for this action. So on the login success action, I will execute a function that will receive as parameter the current state and we return an object based on the current state plus the is logged in as true plus the is logging in as false. After I save this, our test will pass. Now let's create the test for the login fail action. I'll copy and paste the success action, change its name to login fail. The initial state keeps being the same. I will call the login fail action instead of the login success. And the login fail receives as parameter an error. So I'll create a constant called error, which is an object with some error property. Now I will send it as parameter to the login fail action. Then I expect that the new state is equal to the initial state plus the error plus the is logged in as false plus the is logging in as false. After I save this, our test will fail. It fails because you're not doing anything on the reducer for this action. So on the login fail action, 
I will execute the function that will receive as parameter the current state and the action properties. This will return an object based on the current state plus the error, which will receive the error inside of the action, plus the is logged in as false, plus the is logging in as false. After I save this, our test will pass. Now let's create the code for the logging page itself so we can actually do the state management of the logging page by observing the logging state and reacting to the changes on it. Something similar to what we did in the previous video for the forgot email password functionality. Currently when the user clicks on the login button, what we do is to just send the user to the home page. Now what we'll have to do is to 